Hello, my name is Travis Monk. This is one of a series of videos involving genetics. In previous videos, you should have learned how to set up and fill out Punnett squares, as well as what different patterns of inheritance look like. In this video, you will learn how to apply knowledge of recessive X-linked traits to Punnett squares. The image on this slide shows a cross between an X-linked recessive trait. Setting up a Punnett square is about the same, but the results can be significantly different due to chromosomal differences between males and females. The example problem on this slide reads, red-green colorblindness shows X-linked recessive inheritance. If a woman who is a carrier for this trait is married to a male that does not have the disease, the first step to this type of problem, as all Punnett squares, involves setting up the outside of the Punnett square properly. One thing that I would always do when approaching X-linked recessive traits is to set up the Punnett square with the sex chromosomes. This is important to do as males and females have different sex chromosomes. Failure to set up these problems in this way can lead to the wrong answers. The first clue to this problem suggests that the woman is a carrier for this trait. If you're a carrier, that means that you don't have the trait, but you can pass it on. This means that she is heterozygous for this trait. Since women have two X chromosomes, this information should be placed on the top of this Punnett square. Just as we did for codominance problems, you should put the alleles as superscripts on the X chromosomes. As a superscript of the X chromosome, you should have one capital H and one lowercase h for this individual, since she is heterozygous for the trait. The second part of the problem suggests that this male does not have the disease. Males cannot be heterozygous for X-linked recessive traits, as they only have one X chromosome. If a male has an X-linked recessive trait, they possess the recessive allele for that trait on their one X chromosome. If they don't have the disease, they would just have one dominant allele on the X chromosome. Again, since this male does not have this disease, you should have a capital letter representing the dominant allele on this X chromosome. You should never place a superscript on the Y chromosome, as different chromosomes, such as the X and the Y, have different genes on them. Now that you have the outside of the Punnett square completed, you can fill it out. Drag all of the information to the right and down from each of the boxes, just like normal. You should have ended up with these results. Now that you've completed the Punnett square, you can answer the question provided on this slide. What would you expect to find in the offspring? Any offspring that have two X chromosomes would be females, and any offspring that have an X and a Y chromosome would be a male. The top right Punnett square is a female as there are two X chromosomes. There is one capital letter and one lowercase letter. Since there is a dominant allele, and then this is an X-linked recessive trait, this female would not have the disorder. But since she has a recessive allele, she would be heterozygous for the trait, or a carrier for it, and could pass on the trait to her children. The individual on the bottom right of this Punnett square is a male, as there is a Y chromosome present. Since he only has one X chromosome, and it has a lowercase letter, he would have this recessive trait. He would have red-green color blindness. On the left-hand side of this Punnett square are a male and a female that only possess capital letter H's, which are dominant alleles. For this reason, they would not have this recessive X-linked trait, nor would they carry it. They couldn't pass on this disease to their children. Summing up this problem, one half of females would carry the trait for color blindness, and one half of the males would actually have this disorder. One half the males and one half the females would not have nor carry this particular trait. One of the most important things to recognize when completing X-linked recessive Punnett squares is that males and females have different probabilities of inheriting these disorders. That is the end of this video involving X-linked recessive traits. If you are interested in learning any more about genetics or any other themes of biology, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.